What's up guys? I'm Shane. Welcome back to our North Texas Dynasty. Now, I got a couple things to go over in recruiting, but real quick, I want to show you the disrespect that North Texas is getting from the coaches, but the respect we're getting from the media. So, we jumped up seven spots. We're number seven now. We were number 14. That's cool. The media poll had us ranked nine last week, and the coaches had us 14. But the disrespect from the coaches poll, all right, I see you. Speaking of coaches, we're going up against Kelvin Smith this week. I'm going to assume he didn't vote for us because he's petty. So we're going to lay a smack down on him. Now recruiting, we have, you see, 800 points cleared up. You'll see where those came from in a second. The two, uh, the center that was committed, or going to South Carolina, he committed. The D-tackle went to LSU. We lost another 1,000 points each. I don't know what happened. We have everybody on this list. I told you, everybody. We even added a couple this week. But there's one recruit who we are not bringing in. There's a very good reason for that. Without any sort of reason, without any visit, Kyle Wilson, the number one overall wide receiver and the number five overall prospect, has already committed to North Texas. He didn't even come. He was going to visit this week anyways, but I don't have to worry about it. Now, we have jumped to the top of the board on John McCoy and Brian Carter. So I'm going to try and instant commit them real quick. Nope. No. All right. Instant commit is not going well for us this year. All right, their team is not bad. I thought they were going to be some pushover, but they're 90 overall. All right, so they can hang with us. We'll see what Kelvin Smith is doing. Now, we're going to, regardless of how this game goes, I'm hoping we do get the victory. I'm going to look like such a fool if I lose here. But after this game wraps up, we got to buy next week, so I'm going to jump and just see how the recruiting pans out because we're going to get big bonuses on some of these guys. I don't know if anyone's going to commit after this week, but within the next couple weeks, recruiting's going to have some big changeover. So that'll be all at the end of this episode, if you guys want to stick around for that. All right, don't overlook these guys. Come on, he was out of bounds. Good job with the read option there. Let's shut him down. Or not. <sighs> Thank you, Davis. I don't know why you took that jump off pass. Were you trying to make it a slightly easier field goal? I don't understand. Whoever takes that up, 40-yard return. Sweet. Why would I... Okay, so I thought... Because Smith was waving, I thought he would, like, run up or something. And he just ran out for two yards. I would have just taken that myself if I thought that was going to happen. All right, single high safety. I don't know anything about little, but uh, I'll give it a shot. Well, he distracted the safety from Hardy, who was breaking underneath wide open. They're bringing that blitz. I'll run up the other side. No one picked him up. Didn't matter. All right, I threw it behind him, and that was actually perfect placement for where the coverage was. And corner of the end zone was open. Sweet. I understand that he was our offensive coordinator the last couple seasons, but I I don't know. I just feel like the offense was better earlier in the season for us without Kelvin Smith. Okay. Why can't we shed any blocks today? All right, no more blitzes. That's better. Yeah, all right, you can have that. I was say, I'm not going to say it's an obvious screenplay, but it's a pretty obvious screenplay. He lost five yards. Good job, Gatewood. 
Now, obviously, with all the recruits in, I do want to try and impress them, but, um... We're going to try and get in control of this game first. Nice snag, Irvin. I need 100 yards to tight ends. There's 24 right there. I have no running backs coming in, so I don't have to run the ball at all. But, I mean... That's kind of our best option with Hardy. Yeah, I'll just take off. That's cool. Nice move. Keep going. All the way down. 34 yards. Let's go. You thought I was going to slide. I ain't scared. And Smith in for the touchdown. That was Peter Smith. Sweet. I was running around. I'm like, oh, wait a sec. I was on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Neil was tired. And the 34-yard run did him in. Did he get hurt on that play? I'm going to be ticked if he did. Real quick, just in case. I'll put Shaw in here over on. Just in case. Oh, my God. Emil's all the way up. He's a 92 overall right now. The quarterbacks just go nuts. Anyone else go up? Hardy's up to a 90. I don't know. Oh, my God. How did that happen? He is... He's gone. I don't know how he got through all that. Genuinely, I have no idea. And Shaw's still out here, so that's not a good sign. It's really not good for us. Shaw still made a three-yard run. What the heck? Why can't we tackle their running backs? Like, how did he break off of all of that? I have conservative tackle on. Oh my god. Where is he going? What happened? That was weird. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, whoever got it out to the 50, can I get an injury report? All right, what is going on? Sprained elbow out three weeks. <sighs> That's our season up in flames. I love now that Shaw is out here, they just want me to pass the ball constantly. Like, they have no comprehension of how bad he actually is. We get the ball to start the second half. Let's just take our time. Let's see if we can take this clock... As far down as possible where they maybe can't score again. Oh my god, Alberting was completely, like, just completely uncovered. Okay, so much for killing the clock. I don't, like, so, for some reason the defense just clears out of the middle. I don't understand what's happening. It's not like when there's just nobody there, everyone just runs away. They see him coming and run, like, they're waiting for the cut. They're expecting the cut. And it doesn't happen. Thank you, Murphy. Can we please just get a stop? Thank you. Okay, he dropped it. But I'll take it. Nope. Alright, nice stiff arm by Hardy. He only managed to get a yard on it, though. I was about to take off. As slow as it would have been, I would have taken off, but Harris was just completely uncovered. Peter Smith wide open, got out of bounds too. The kicker wants us to go for a 40 plus yard field goal. Just in case you think I'm worried about impressing the 72 overall kicker right now. Simpson getting involved with a nice snag. I'm just worried about that linebacker right there. No, Clark got up there. All right. Barely, but we got in for the touchdown. It's a 28-17 lead for us at home, but what a freaking battle this has actually been. And we're down an offensive star to match our defensive star. This is karma. We had no injury, like, no injuries, basically, for the, in the first three seasons. And now this is happening to us. All right, we've got enough here. 
where I'm kind of okay trying to pass the ball a little bit. Unfortunately, I didn't realize the formation I came out in. But Hardy got the ball, so that's fine. Good catch by Donald Smith. Blitz almost got there, but I got out to Alberting in the nick of time. Nice catch by Alberting. Although, looking at where the safety went, I may have had Donald Smith open on that, but I, I want to get the tight end yards now. Oh my god, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh my god. That was a stupid play by me. I wanted to hit Peter Smith, who was X. I hit triangle for Donald Smith. That's why I let him inside, because I was trying to lead. <sighs> I've done a lot. Like, I've played very poorly in certain games. I've been, like, oblivious and stuff. That is, like, just the dumbest, like, basics of playing a video game mistake I think I've ever made. Good stop, Dotson. Thank you! Oh, Roden. Good play. Come on, take up the sideline. Can't quite get the pick six. Thank you for bailing me out on my dumb mistake. And Donald Smith. Oh, not quite in the end zone. Runner, hurry up. Catch him off guard before they adjust. They're going to bring in a... Probably a heavy defense... Oh, we don't have a halfback. That's okay. Alberting, you want to be a halfback today? <laughs> there you go, bud. Jesus. It's when they get the downfield blocking on us. Like, that's all that was. Good breakup. Kind of wish you had gotten the pick, but I'll take it. Okay, defense, I told you, on a read option, you go after the quarterback. I made that adjustment, and you're refusing to do it. Perfect. Yeah, I saw that screenplay. Can't trick me on that. Deep attack, starring Peter Smith instead of Damon Ward. Oh, he didn't, uh... Okay. I read that coverage wrong. I thought he was playing his own. He was playing man. And Little was wide open. Come on, bud. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, finally. Four birds works. 80-yard touchdown pass. Oh, boy. Bautista's playing on a wide receiver. Ooh, almost had that one. Perfect. Good job, Pitts. Oh, no. Cardwell's down. Crap. Bruised knee will return soon. Good. That's the end of the third quarter. We're pulling away. 42-17 over Boston College. And Alberting beat the defense. Don't have to worry about those yards anymore. I am glad I, uh, I hot-routed him into a streak. Okay, we're playing zone. How did you leave everybody? It was... Who was supposed to be playing there? Nobody? Okay. Okay, I just don't understand. Just... They just keep watching him run by. I don't get it. I also don't get why they're going to try and go for an onside here. <sighs> Time to choose some clock. I even went conservative ball carry just because Hardy did fumble it last week. And Hardy for a touchdown. Puts him over 100 yards as well. Alabama is smoking Texas A&M. Thank you. So we'll be moving up in the rankings after this week. Just realized our backups are in our defense, so, uh, yeah. Thank you! Oh, they fumbled it! 
And for some reason, Donald Smith was playing defense. I'm very confused right now. Well, and I took a safety. Who even gets player of the game for this one? It was Alberting. All right. Okay, final stats on the day. On went 1 of 1 for 9 yards and a touchdown. Amil went 5 of 5 for 68 yards. No touchdowns for him. And Shaw went 17 to 25, 3 touchdowns, 2 picks, 291 yards. Rushing Hardy had 102 yards and 2 touchdowns. Emil had 42 yards and a touchdown. Alberting had 1 run for a touchdown for 1 whole yard. Receiving Alberting 7 for 111 yards and 2 touchdowns. Donald Smith 5 for 43 yards. Hardy 3 for 49. Peter Smith, 3 for 35 and a touchdown. Harris, 2 for 19. Robert Little, one catch, 80 yards, one touchdown. Defense, Pitt stepping up big time, getting seven tackles for, and leading the whole team. Bautista with six, Roden with six, Gaddy and Wood each with five. Wow, Wood, you played a lot of garbage time, apparently, my man. Pitts also led the team with three TFLs. Gatewood had two, Dotson with two, and Bautista with one. No sacks. Roden with the only pick on the day. Pitts and Roden with the pass deflections. And B.J. Lewis getting that forced fumble. Which was then picked up by Johnny Estes. A bunch of guys you never heard of. Alright, like I said, we're not wrapping it up there. We're going to sim ahead. We're going to see if we sign any of these guys. Take care of recruiting and sim ahead another week and see what else is going on. So, see you in a minute. Alright, alright, I'll take it. We signed Maurice Williams, a quarterback. We signed the five-star quarterback who we don't actually need. That's it. All right, that let us close the gap on Tremblay. Not enough. We're not going to overtake Auburn, but at least they can't blow us out of the water. We should still be able to use the unlock skill. Blount, yeah, I'll give you your points back. Let's try and sign you. Did Northwestern unlock? Like, I don't, I don't understand what happened. I don't get it, how we can have a visit and these guys are just blowing past us. But hey, we got the number two overall recruiting class. Somehow we're behind A&M, probably just because they've signed a lot more people, but we have three five-stars, so now we're in the reverse of what we're usually at. All right, we signed both the tight ends. Left outside linebacker locked us out. The free safety locked us out, so so much for going after Stucky. I don't understand. Like, how are we falling so far behind? I don't get it. Um, You know what? I'm going to throw some points at Dixon because he's a 73 overall D end. I mean, Glover I'll go after just because he's a four-star, so that'll look good. I don't have anyone else really on the board. All right, let's see if any of these guys are good that I added onto the board. Nope. Okay, one up. Um, decent. Ooh, plus eight gem. All right, he's a sophomore. 80 catch. All right, so good catching stats. 80 throw power, 86 accuracy. All right, so it's on. 90 speed, 90 excel. Yeah, he's just a wide receiver. That's all he's... He's a wide receiver or a quarterback. All right, so we'll wrap up the episode here. Next game, we're going to be playing Appalachian State, who's just on a slide. They, I think, started off 2-0. They're 3-4 now. They were ranked and everything. And now they've just completely fallen off. And we're at home. So this should be a lot easier of a game than we've had the last couple of weeks. I hope. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. If you would like to nickname any of these recruits that we're bringing in, building up their pretty good recruiting class here, leave that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.